Earlier in our newscast, we have been telling you about the expedition that went to Gracias a Dios over the weekend. Uh, the members of the Belize Territorial Volunteers, uh, the People's United Party, the main opposition, weighed in on the incident, and they said that the this was an egregious violation of Belizean sovereignty and a breach of international law. The People's United Party categorically rejects the specious claim by Guatemalan Foreign Minister and strongly condemns the provocative and illegal act by the Guatemalan Navy. The PUP is also calling on the government of Belize to immediately deliver a strongly worded diplomatic note to Guatemala rejecting the spurious claim by Foreign Minister Morales and to recall our Belizean ambassador to Guatemala for urgent consultations. Former PUP Foreign Affairs Minister Eamon Courtney spoke to the media. The People's United Party looks on that with great concern. Firstly, the, it seems to us, based on what we have been made to understand, that Guatemala naval vessels were in Belizean territorial waters, which constitutes a grave violation of our na national sovereignty. Secondly, for Belizeans not to be allowed to go into the Sarsoon River on our side of the border is again a direct attack on our territorial integrity and a violation of international law. And so we, in the very strongest terms, condemn the actions by the Guatemalan military, uh, Guatemalan Navy, and we call on the government to take appropriate action. So what this sorts of action should the government and the people of Belize take to address what has transpired? Well, I think uh, in the first step is for the government to reassert in very clear terms the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Belize. I think it needs to be made clear to Guatemala and to the international community that what Guatemala has done and what they did is a violation of our territorial integrity and sovereignty. It seems to us that, and as we have said in our press release, we have called on our ambassador to be recalled from Guatemala for consultations, which is a clear signal to the Guatemalans that we find this to be a very grave infraction. We also believe that it's important that a meeting be held at the ministerial level, at the Organization of American States, in order to reduce tensions. Obviously, the objective would be to have confidence building measures that would be applicable to the SARS student in order to avoid any incident like this in the future. But that meeting will have to be premised on the respect by Guatemala for Belize's borders. And there should be no, absolutely no mistake about that. Courtney shared what are some of the international laws that Guatemala broke when it sent its naval vessels into Belizean waters. Well, first of all, no military vessel is allowed to come into our territorial waters and our waters at all on our property without our uh, permission. And as far as I understand it, the Guatemalan military and Navy had no such permission. So that's one violation. Secondly, it seems to us to stop for a foreign military force to stop a Belizean in Belizean territorial waters from going into any part of Belize is a violation of our sovereignty. That is a clear violation of the international law. Guatemalan Navy has no legal authority to do anything within Belizean territorial waters. These are very serious violations of international law, and we cannot countenance it, we should not accept it, we should not tolerate it. And we are urging the government to take very strong action so that the Guatemalans understand it. It seems to me that Guatemala, by choice, has embarked on a course where an incident is going to take place. We believe that that incident or incidents are to be avoided. But at the same time, we believe that the government of Belize should be strong and steadfast, and we should get our friends to communicate very directly to Guatemala that they are in the wrong and we are in the right. The People's United Party wants an urgent ministerial meeting to be held between Belize and Guatemala at the Organization of American States to adopt measures that reduce tension whilst fully respecting Belize's territorial integrity. But how can the OAS do so if their office along the adjacency zone is closing down? We understand that their operations in Belize are costly and now the funding is quickly running out. Courtney called out on the Guatemalan government. 
we in the People's United Party call on Guatemala specifically to support the efforts to keep the Organization of American States in the adjacency zone. It has served a very useful purpose, it has reduced tensions, and it has been able to verify on each occasion that the Belize Defense Force and our security forces were in the right and Guatemala is in the wrong. That office is in peril of being closed because of lack of funds. And we say in no uncertain terms that it is in the interest of Belize that it be maintained. And we call on Guatemala to do the responsible thing, to join the effort to raise the funds for that office to remain there. And in fact, we are advocating that confidence building measures need to be in place in the Sarstone in order to avoid what is clearly designed by Guatemala, some sort of provocation that is going to lead to the loss of life and property. It is clear that Guatemala decided to behave contrary to international law, to behave like a rogue nation, and we have to carry that message to the international community.